welcome, amazing Gemini. So good to have you here on Venusian Empress Oracle with Priestess Melissa. Yes, we are getting into your weekly reading. We're going to be checking into those full worm moon energies for you. I had to think about how I went to say that. But yeah, this is all about, you know, whatever is going to happen. It's kind of like once you're in that birth canal, once that caterpillar is turned into the butterfly and it's coming out of the cocoon, you know, nothing's stopping it. And we have to keep pushing through the process. So it's like, what is going on for us right now? So many of us have been needing to get grounded you know all of the readings pretty much for this past week have been coming out stating that in some way and um, so building up to this full moon i do feel like that's what we're looking at basically so we're going to get into these oracle cards and find out what the main energy is i'll then tap into the jack-o-lantern tarot as well as the vice versa tarot we got lovers and four cups coming out here today somebody is definitely bored of some situation it seems like here so what is going on love seems to be popping up regardless of whether i'm using love cards or not so i'm just curious what's up somebody is just over it and wants to start a new cycle maybe ready to accept another cup of love almost is what that looked like well, we will definitely see what's going on. Now, guys, bear in mind that these are general readings, which may or may not resonate with you entirely. <laughs> definitely not entirely, but you should find the message here if you clicked on here today. Um, you can also watch these for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs to get an overall idea of what's going on for you at this full moon time, which I would recommend for sure. All right, but if any part does resonate, you like my vibe or you just love being here, definitely put a like on the video. Let me know down in the comments as well how the readings are resonating with you. We also will get some advice from the Moonology cards. We'll get love advice from the Lover's Oracle cards. So we'll get a little bit of advice from for general as well as for love moving forward regardless of what comes out. So you always get a little love, two, 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 from your priestess here. All right, and guys, I know you've got a question you would love to have an answer to. Well, I have a divination coin and I'm gonna help you out with that. Stick around to the end for all the good stuff. What's going on for the amazing Gemini? To the angels, ancestors, way showers, guides, we honor you and thank you for bringing through the clarity that is needed for this week. Thank you so very much, Gemini. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Your support to the channel is absolutely appreciated. Um, definitely keep the love coming, if you will. <laughs> Yeah, hit the like button, subscribe, bell notification. Let me know down in the comments how these readings are resonating with you. All right, let's see what's going on for you, Gemini. How you been feeling lately? What is up with Gemini? Are you bueno, as they would say? Good in Spanish? You know, I'm in Arizona, so I, I speak a little Spanglish. Let's see what is going on for Gemini. Gemini. Some people are saying Gemini can be like trying to say cinnamon, cinnamon, you know, <laughs> just kidding. All right, what's going on for Gemini? You had two cards come out, so I just want one card. What do we need to know for Gemini, please? Show me. You guys are, uh, maybe you just have a lot to talk about. Are you feeling a little uh, emotional at this time? Maybe you have a lot to say. The sacred orchard, co-create, on the bottom though, the lost star. Do you feel lost? Like things aren't, create. you're not co-creating perhaps in the quality, you know, like that gold. It's like, we wanna have that Midas touch, right? This is perhaps going to help us to understand more how we can, you know, grow in our orchard, what it is that we need to. Maybe we've been lost just because we didn't know the proper ingredients or steps and how to do something. But you know, just like in business, um, we don't see all the failures that happen before the actual gold is produced, right? Behind these millionaires 444 coming up on the timer. This energy is 33, yeah. So this is 
t double mastering something, you know, when you're taking AP classes uh, or you're taking an eight-week class that's been condensed, right? It's like you're speeding up, and I saw the four, five, six. It's like you're having to take in a lot at once, right? The temple and home coming out on top. Maybe you're wanting to feel more in your skin and at home again, right? Perhaps you've been feeling lost for quite a while, wanting to be able to co-create in that way that is going to, again, help you to bring through what it is that you're wanting. Who wouldn't want an apple of gold, right? All right, so my abundance mindset attracts endless blessings. So this is all about your mindset is what this looks like today. So this is perhaps making a resolution at this time, you know, coming out of that shell of thinking the way that we've always thought. We have to sometimes catch ourselves when we have been caught in a pattern way of thinking that, you know, in this case works against our abundance and what we want to bring in, right? So the Sacred Orchard says, Star words are positivity, attitude, and prosperity. Be assured that a steady flow of abundance is available to you now. Asterope reminds you that your thoughts are seeds that create either fruits or weeds in your sacred garden. So which would you say that you're more planting, seeds or weeds? For an orchard or a wasteland, I don't know, what would you call that? It would just be a barren field because what would grow if it was just a bunch of weeds, right? So this is all about your thoughts and what are the quality of your thoughts? Are they more positive or are they ones that would grow weeds? <laughs> okay, no judging here. We all get caught up in this, all right? Don't take any of this personally if it is resonating, but you know, just hit the like button and show your girl some love for at least giving some confirmation through the universe and these cards and this art of taromancy to help bring you a message today. You're welcome. All right, I'm a mom, so I understand all of this stuff. It is important to keep your mindset positive so you can attract infinite prosperity, right? Be mindful of your unconscious negative mantras that create a mindset of lack and victimhood. Your self-worth determines your wealth, right? So what does your self-worth look like? How are you speaking to yourself and to others around you and things of that nature? Are you being patient, kind, loving, all those virtues? Yeah, we all could work on at least one of them probably, right? <laughs> all right, so it says, uh, so live in alignment with your divinity. When you set out intentionally, sorry, when you set out to intentionally attract your desires, you will flourish with endless opportunities. Know that you are worthy of plentiful joy. That's a good word to use, plentiful, right? Abundant, plentiful, overflowing, you know, I, um, some things I've heard like it referring to like say a, a purse jam-packed stuffed you know overstuffed that kind of thing but you know we've got to feel good within ourselves this home card speaks of that it says i no longer search outside of myself for home right or for someone to provide that abundance you know feeling like someone has to i've definitely been in that mindset before especially if you're a woman it's hard not to be we're kind of programmed to you know get married and kind of let someone else take care of us and you know it's not that kind of an era anymore we have to be just as strong too in so many ways you know otherwise we lose ourselves whenever we just kind of oh, we're going to let somebody else take care of it you know and and create our reality for us. No, we're ready to co-create our own reality. 9-11 I saw coming up on the timer. I'm not sure why that was. All right, let us check in a little bit more and see what's going on with our handy dandy tarot. We have an ace of swords energy and the world. Yep, the truth shall set you free is what I heard. Amen. And maybe that's exactly what you're going to see here today. Something that will help you to feel more whole within yourself, right? And not 
playing into the fantasy, someone else's fantasy that they're willing to offer you. What are you wanting for yourself? Maybe you haven't really thought about that in a while and your thinking is a little rusty and maybe, you know, it is more of a negative mindset. But I do feel like maybe you've been looking at things a little differently lately and wanting to heal that aspect, wanting to take the blindfold off. Knight of Swords in reverse, wanting to be honest with yourself about your reality and if you're really happy, you know, if you, if what you're thinking is serving you more than anything. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, if you're dealing with a uh, earth sign, that would be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but definitely this is talking about abundance being off if we're just talking about the energy. So, what did we say controls that? It's our thoughts. What are the quality of our thoughts? Which is, again, our self-worth. So, we've got to talk to ourselves well as well. Do you ever find yourself, you know, saying, Damn it, Melissa, or whatever, you know, that's me. But, you know, your name, whenever you drop something, you know, you, um, um, realize that you didn't get something that should have been easier to you know understand initially but there was just something about it that took you a little longer to get right and you're just like frick what the hell is wrong with you <laughs> all right but this is changing that mindset and i think that you know showing the five of pentacles in reverse is to me showing that you have started to work on changing this but the energy you may be in at this time is needing to work on finances is a big part of it and so that abundance mindset is definitely going to come in handy for you all right um, but being honest with yourself definitely is going to be most helpful really looking at the situation but understanding that you do have control with the wheel and the upright I think you understand that in your mind you know if you can just get balanced within yourself right you probably already know some about the law of attraction and different things like that and how important it is i mean we can go all day long talking about different things like crystalline structures and your body formed through the water and how you know uh, you can actually look at it under a microscope and the more perfectly it's formed the more positive those thoughts are exactly what's going on in your body and you're sending those messages through your neuro neurological system throughout every single cell so what do you want to be sending out and then from there out into the ethers from your aura right we really have to think about that and how that microcosmic and macrocosmic aspect plays together and we are in control of it within our sphere of things right all right, hit the like button if you agree for sure. So no holding back, right? Time to get on board and bring in all that abundance that we've been wanting to co-create for so long. You know, perhaps you're getting that perspective now so that you can get yourself down out of this situation, out of this pickle I heard, out of this situation, perhaps being stuck with a controlling person, right? That could be what's, you know, mainly the issue here, that someone else is controlling the finances. If it's not an Aries, it definitely could be a uh, Earth sign, all right? But in any case, you know, Gemini, this is about you. <laughs> I heard taking the wheel when I saw the Wheel of Fortune. You know that you need to take control of the situation regardless if there's somebody outside of you you know having an effect on this or if it's just you right page of cups energy Ooh. somebody maybe hopes wishes and fears you know maybe you're i don't know i heard something about pregnancy here either you hope that somebody hasn't gotten someone pregnant or that you don't get pregnant if you mess with somebody you know what i mean especially if you're younger that's always one of those fears right you don't want something to yeah oh and there's the sun huh are you pregnant do you feel stuck for that reason you're not stuck everything's going to be just fine for you but you're not getting your fair share in whatever's going on here and it's time all right time to do the healing that you know is necessary queen of pentacles in reverse so if you're both um 
having some issues in the finance department, yeah, and maybe that's why this person can't, you know, again, if we're looking for home outside of ourselves, right, we're depending on somebody else to provide that stability, now we're in a position, you know, if they leave us or something like that, right, as a woman particularly, but it doesn't matter, anybody who's more in control of more or less your uh, survival type of things, you know what I mean? Your home, your food, that kind of thing. So when someone's in control in those ways, that's a very scary thing, right? Then you would feel lost. You would feel like you're not in control. And where is really my home? Because this can be snatched away from me, you know, at a moment's notice, perhaps. Let's clarify a little bit with the vice versa tarot. Knight of Swords in reverse at the center of it all. Nine of Cups. Yeah, being honest about where your happiness lies is really what this is about. And maybe you've been just trying to accept the situation that you're in, if you will. But uh, I don't think you like that control aspect of things. <laughs> all right, King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody's definitely with this five of swords, trying to control things. Look at you, the lady down on her knees there. It's almost like someone having that control, saying, well, I'm just not gonna give you what you need then, and then what are you gonna do? Four pentacles energy, you know? And maybe that's why it's hard for you to leave a situation if that's what you're wanting to do. Five of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you're done being stuck in this kind of energy, whether it's within yourself or others, you know, that's causing this um, lack of mentality, you know, even other people may be talking down to you about your ideas. And this is why, you know, you probably learn that you really can't say too much to people um, outside of your sphere of really close people that you know you can trust with the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you've turned your back or had to on having the success that you know that you can have in your life. You've been prevented from starting a new cycle with that six of wands in reverse and the world in reverse, right? But the wheel of fortune, you know that outside of this control, you will actually be so much happier. But this person, it feels like maybe it's, I'm going to say if, it, if we're purely looking at it from a perspective of the way that you could be seeing things just in general from the weed situation, you know, it could be a struggle to fight with your energy, you know what I mean, to change your way of thinking. Um, but you know, I think inherently, or from what you've learned and things of that nature, um, that you really do need to work with this in a way that's going to serve you, that's going to bring in that abundance with that King of Pentacles in reverse, Five of Swords, what you need. Time to rise, my dear. So Four of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. So there's the Heartbreak Energy, Five of Cups. There's the Six of Cups and that someone saving someone else type energy. But you see where that's gotten you, right? In either case, it's like waiting for things to go further. Waiting for more. Watching for more. You know, you could have put your wishes out there. But at the same time, if you're holding this energy where you're still holding on to say this is the past hurt. And the finances were tied up in it, right? And now you're trying to move out of this mentality so this is what you're struggling with, perhaps. Queen of Cups energy came out with the Hanged Man. Okay, so you may be feeling stuck in your heart space right now. Trying to figure out how can you open up to this belief more, you know? So you don't fight with yourself, so you don't cause those inner power struggles, right? We got to know when our ships are coming in, what our ship looks like. First of all, the emperor. Wow. So definitely if there's somebody controlling in your life, either the tower has come down or it is about to because uh, 
they may be trying to sneak out after they've done something bad and you may be figuring that out. That could be what this is all about too. Gossiping about whatever has happened here, right? And you're done with being even associated with this energy, if you will. Page of Cups, we have the Eight of Wands. You could definitely be getting a lot of messages at this time. Maybe that's why somebody wants to reach out to you, right? Either you've come into some money uh, or someone else has. Now, you know, you everything may look good on the surface, but there still may be some things to be concerned about underneath it all. I heard Gwen Stefani. All right. So you're ready to uh, walk towards your happiness, but uh, it's definitely got to be what's right for you. And if there's some kind of child involved here in some way, because it really does feel that way, a son, you know, or something like that. But, uh, yeah, very interesting. Either a woman could be coming back, I don't know, and saying she's pregnant with your child. It's very interesting, but I feel like, you know, it's one of those dynamics where you may have something to offer at this time. And this person perhaps has seen how you've grown and things of that nature. But you've had to do a lot of work, you know, to find yourself again, perhaps. To come back home to yourself after this situation. And uh, I think regardless of how well this person may sweeten the pot, you're just like, uh, maybe not. <laughs> I might have to pass on that one. <laughs> All right, so hit the like button and let me know down in the comments how this is resonating for you. We're going to get some advice from the Moonology cards for our amazing Gemini's apple. How interesting, a golden apple. It, it almost reminds me of that Snow White energy, like be aware, too, of someone trying to come back and offer you money and things like that. Yeah, blue moon energy, believe in the impossible. You may be in disbelief, especially um, with what is, what comes through for you at this time, what the possibilities may be for you. A time to give rather than take, right? So you're waiting for, I feel, two, 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 for things to be given to you as opposed to having to demand it, right? Uh, especially if we're talking about the energy of, you know, working with the law of attraction, if you will. It's like we can't demand, um, we can't be in that energy of, you know, uh, trying to force something to be given to us. That doesn't work with people any more than it does with spirit, right? So... We have to be more in that energy of where people want to give to us, all right? Where we don't have to take. What is going on here? What else do we need to know for Gemini? Conclusions are within reach. So you're definitely going to be getting some answers. You're going to be figuring things out more. Look, with that, um, what's on the bottom here? A new romantic cycle begins. What that? What is that all about? Wow. So uh, Libra energy there, and then we also had Virgo come out, which we are in that full moon Virgo, right? Time to give rather than take. So I believe you're going to be potentially receiving something, and you may be in a bit of shock about it as well, is what I'm seeing as well here, because I felt a very interesting energy come out here, like you getting money, message that you're getting money, you know, um, you could have a child uh, with this person, or this could just be an offer, love, as well as, you know, somebody going to take care of you, but is that what you really want? Even if you'll be happy, you don't want to have to perhaps deal with the control factor behind it with the emperor and the tower there, right? All right, what's up with love for Gemini? Love for Gemini. Okay, so Gemini, we got, if you could do anything, anything, what would it be? I do wonder. All right, it says the answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. All right, so 
first we got to get our mind right as far as having those positive thoughts right but then the heart once we have that merged with what we know we truly want what really makes our heart beat and our soul sing all right because when we follow our heart it says the heart is the gateway to the soul so this is help helping us to tap much more into ourselves you think about it when you connect with someone emotionally you know um, it means so much more and when you are engaged within your own what desires you know what it is that you want just as much as you would with a person and just like we were talking about sex recently and that energy of euphoria that is created through that when you can learn to tap into that for other things like co-creation right you'll be amazed at what you're able to bring about if you will so romance is here and it says cupid's arrow strikes that could be what this energy is here and there could be a lot of abundance but do be aware that you could get pregnant as well so be careful wrap it up as they say if you don't want any babies all right guys you ready to get an answer to your question here we go in three two one all right and your answer today is no gemini Thank you so much for hitting that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. Let me know down in the comments how this has resonated with you. You stay amazing, Gemini. You deserve the best. Nothing but the best. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.